Over the last few months, we've been reporting the problems our teachers and their families say they're facing as the health trust that handles their health care, THT Health, fell behind in making payments to some providers. One step the health trust has taken is changing the third party administrator that manages the claims. But some teachers tell me that's brought on even more challenges for them. I have an autoimmune disease. My mom died really young of colorectal cancer. I need to get this screening to make sure that I don't have it. I need to get periodic colonoscopies. I was told I had to pay $1,400 in cash right there or they wouldn't do it because this is what the accountant told me. Teachers Health Trust does not pay their claims, so teachers have to pay up front. A few months ago, the Clark County School District and the Teachers Union made an agreement to help with funding issues for THT Health. Union Executive Director John Velardita tells me there was a deficit for about a year, on average, about $1.5 million a month. The medical costs of the plan were outstripping the revenue that was coming in. That in part contributed to the deficit. The district agreed to provide a $35 million advance towards the shortfall. The health trust also changed its third party administrator known as a TPA. Allegiance was handling claims before, but on July 1st, UMR took over. Because of this, teacher Sarah Conroe says she couldn't receive her planned colonoscopy. I had it scheduled and I was unable to get it because they could not verify my insurance on the morning of July 1st. Teacher Vicki Crydell, who is also the union president of the National Education Association of Southern Nevada, says teachers received an email a day prior to July 1st with information about the transition to UMR. I woke up the next morning. My provider is no longer a tier one provider. He is on the plus list, which means I have to meet my deductible before anything is covered. Now she's wondering what to do next. To get in with a new room, rheumatologist is usually six to nine months. So um, I'm concerned about continuity of care. Brian Scott says he's losing one of his providers. I see a therapist once a week, but uh, he's not taking this insurance. And we've been working together for a while now. Shelly Brunskill says under UMR, she now needs to go to a new provider so that she doesn't have to pay a deductible. I've had multiple cysts in my breasts. I never heard of the places that they're telling me where I can go before. Um, and that's scary because you're talking like if, if I, I don't know like how good they are, you're talking about trying to prevent cancer. I spoke with Michael Jan, who will be THT's board chairman come August 1st. Through September 1st, we are still honoring our contract with any THT provider. What is the significance of September 1st? There will be new plans rolling out that day. Right now, teachers only pay premiums for certain dependents. And according to the email sent by THT Health, there might be an increase. We are in negotiations with the school district around a premium contribution increase. In Carson City, the legislature adopted a budget where the school district is getting additional revenue to, in part, pay for an increase on the district's part to premium contributions. It could very well be that, depending on what kind of contribution we get from the district, there might be some cost sharing or shifting, I should say, towards employees. But as of right now, no employee pays any premium contribution. And I can tell you authoritatively, we, we don't have any agreement with the district that that's going to take place in the future. I'm still in negotiations with them. I'll continue to follow up on those negotiations and let you know what happens. If these changes are impacting you, I want to know. Please send a message my way, school tips at news3lv.com on your screen or 702-805-0489. Back to you.